Lately I've been getting more interested in streaming and in recording videos, so I purchased a couple of Logitech C920 webcams, one for me and one for my wife. But I was having some issues with mine. It was having trouble focusing on my keyboard at a distance of about 12 to 14 inches. It was having a lot of issues focusing, I noticed. So I read online that there was a fix for this that involved rotating the lens of the camera. The lens of the camera is threaded in to the actual camera housing. So I decided to try that and I found that it actually resolved the focus issues that I was having. Now I've heard some people say that you may not experience these issues if you have adequate lighting and that might be the case but I found for me that this modification made the focus a lot more reliable and allowed me to use this camera under more conditions than I could otherwise. So I'll show you the problem that we were having initially and how I fixed it. In order to demonstrate the issue, I've connected two Logitech C920s to my computer. The one on the left doesn't have any modification made to it yet. The one on the right has the modification made to it. So what I've noticed is a couple things. Sometimes the camera without modification is able to focus properly, and sometimes it's not able to. But it's able to focus properly a lot more often after I make the change. So I'll demonstrate that. You'll see that sometimes it'll successfully get the focus but it just doesn't happen as often. See there, it got it. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Got it that time. Didn't get it this time. Let's try something else, like one of my tools. See how it does with that. Didn't get it. Focus looks fine on the modified camera. So I think you can see the unmodified camera just doesn't manage to successfully focus as often. Sometimes it gets it right, but it's, it's pretty hit or miss. Now I've only seen this problem at close distances. This keyboard is about 12 inches from the camera, but I've seen reports online that people were having problems with this at far other distances too. So let me show you what change I made. So let's get this thing apart. The tools I'd recommend are some needle nose pliers or forceps, a very small Phillips screwdriver such as an eyeglass screwdriver would work here, or a jeweler screwdriver, some sharp tipped tweezers, ideally something like a SMD tweezers, and a plastic spudger tool. The first thing we need to do here is we need to remove these little cushion sticker things. So there's two layers of sticker here. There's a layer that's like silicone rubber, I think, that needs to come off. You can just peel this off and set it aside if you want to save it. And then there's like a thicker plasticky kind of a sticker underneath that also needs to come off because it's covering some screw holes that we need to get to. I'm not actually trying to save these stickers or else I could be more careful. I don't believe they actually serve any purpose as far as I can tell. Okay, 
I can see the screws that we need to get access to. Is when we need the spudger these two little microphone covers come off there's a little seam right here well, not seam but there's a little crack between the two different parts of plastic so you can slip your spudger in there and this uh, piece should pop out Underneath these plastic covers are four screws holding on this uh, lens cover thing. Those need to come off. You can see right there. There we go. I should probably use manual focus for a video like this, but. Now, at this point, we need to be really careful because this lens assembly in the middle is very delicate. Now, all we want to do is give that a quarter turn very gently. We want to give it a quarter turn clockwise. be a little difficult to turn at first because they glue it in place it's threaded in and there's a little dab of glue to keep it from moving there give it a quarter turn that's supposed to be enough to correct this issue okay let's see if it makes a difference like it did on my other camera
The reassembly, of course, is the reverse of the assembly. I mean, the reverse of the disassembly. assemble this I'm just gonna put one screw in on each side because it, it really doesn't need four screws holding on this little lightweight piece of plastic and I want to save time okay so that's on there these just pop back on Let's see how it works. So now I've connected the cameras again. Now the camera on the left has the same modification as the camera on the right. Let's see how it does. Focus. So it looks a lot better to me. It's able to focus on the keys of the keyboard. It's able to focus on my hand. Everything seems good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful. And if you have one of these cameras and you're having focus issues, I hope you can try this mod and it'll fix it for you.